Lisa. We went to Seaside, Oregon. Yes, we did, out on the coast. That was great. Yes. You know, we we moved here about a two to Oregon a couple years ago, yeah, almost. Almost two years. We haven't spent hardly any time at the beach, sadly. I mean, we've we did right before we settled in. We spent some time at the beach, but recently we decided to take a quick jaunt out to the coast, and wow, what a treat. Yes, I, I was really surprised. It was a beautiful, wide beach. Um, uh, you know, I, I was not expecting that. I guess I expected more, you know, rocky, rugged coast, but this was a beautiful, wide beach. Right, we're from, well, I'm from Northern California, primarily, when I spent my time at the coast, and it's very rugged big waves. So this is totally different here in Oregon. It's delightful. The waves are small. They lap up on the shore. I think there's quite a long shelf that so you don't get to those huge big crashing waves. At least at Cannon Beach and Seaside where we were at it was just delightful. But like Brad said, it's deep so the distance between the let's say the boardwalk area or the, the promenade where the hotels and the town is and then out in the distance where the ocean waves are, there's quite a long distance of really flat beach with really fine sand, fine soft sand. Oh, it was delightful and we, we really lucked out. It was a beautiful day, oh, sunny, gorgeous, yeah. beautiful couple days when we were there. Yeah, it was really nice. And I was able to bring my drone out. I think you've, if you're watching this, you've probably seen the drone footage. It was, it was really, Really cool. I, I don't have Cannon Beach up yet, or maybe I do. <laughs> that was really cool, too. So the drone footage was really nice. I really liked Seaside. Yeah. I, was, I was surprised. It is a nice little touristy town. Yeah. Um, the food was good. Right. The oyster shooters were good. <laughs> the martini was good. Uh, yeah. So it was just a really fun place to go. You can get reasonable accommodations. Yep. Um, you can get expensive accommodations too if you want to be, you know, looking out at the ocean and stuff. But, you know, we typically would not, you know, if you want to give it to me for the same price, I'll take it. But, you know, why spend the extra money? All you got to do is walk out of your room and one minute you're on the beach. We stayed uh, right, really, on the beach at a place called the Seashore. Seaside? Yeah. Seashore? Seashore Inn? Seashore Inn on the beach? Yeah. Seaside? Yeah, Seashore Inn on the seashore. beach. Seashore. So it was. So, Hey, indoor pool, which we did not use because yeah. we didn't bring our bathing suits, and an indoor jacuzzi. It had like a continental breakfast, which was totally fine for us. Yeah. It was a lot of carbohydrates. That's okay. That's always the case, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the fun thing about Seaside was that you could just walk down this main drag, and they had every kind of touristy sort of hangout that you could imagine. Tons of cute little restaurants, saltwater taffy. Candy, right, yeah. lots of candy, several places. There was the fun house, like the arcade. Oh yeah, that's um, neat. Yeah, so it was, it really, it's like, wow, I, it was unexpected. Really a nice, delightful surprise and not at all what I thought we were getting into. I thought it would probably be just more like any other coastal town and not so well developed. Yeah. But they seemed to have it really dialed in. Yeah. It was so cute. It was nice and a nice path right along the beach. Now let's talk about Cannon Beach. So that is, I guess it was about 30 minutes. I don't think it was that long. 20 minutes? Yeah, 20, 15. Okay. Which direction did we go from Seaside? South. South to Cannon Beach. Yeah. That was really nice too. They have a lot of those um, sea stacks, which are the big rocks that come out of the ocean. That's a really common sight to see here in the Pacific Northwest. When you're looking out, there'll be these big great looking islands. Yeah, Haystack Rock is the, the famous one off Cannon Beach and it's really close. I mean, you're not allowed to walk out onto it, but you certainly could. I mean, you'd get your, you know, get wet up to your knees or something, I guess, depending on the tide, but you're not allowed to go out to it. That's and, a really, and it's sorry. Pretty steep too. I don't know how you'd climb it. <laughs> so it's like, um, I'm pretty sure all the youngsters can do it. Yeah. Somehow they'll try. They get excited about yeah. stuff climbing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it was beautiful. And then there's some smaller ones beside that, and it's and again, it's it, this didn't have the boardwalk and stuff. We parked in a state park uh, parking lot and right. just walked out on the beach. But you know, 
you know, 100, 200 yards out to the water, depending on where you are. And then they had homes that were, you know, well back, uh, obviously, along the beach as well. I'm yeah. sure they're million dollar homes, but uh, nice. Yeah, they were, they were not that much. I mean, maybe some of them, but not all of them. Yeah. They, but, were, they were nice. Yeah, we walked, what, a couple miles down the beach? Yeah, it was about two, almost three miles round trip. Okay. We, and we didn't go all the way down. We just went to that one. So I guess the beach overall is probably three miles long, yeah. three and a half. And flat. <laughs> it wasn't like walking on, on sand where you, you know, you really have to struggle or whatever. Um, it was, yeah, well, it was a it was nice hard pack. Yeah. So it was easy walking. And on our way home from Seaside, we went north. Yeah. We went to... Fort Stevens. Fort Stevens, thank you. I was like, <laughs> Stevenson, no, that's not right. Yeah. Fort Stevens, which is a military national monument or state monument or state park. It's a state park, yeah. They have big... It was... It's a fort. Yeah, it's a <laughs> fort. It used to have the guns that would protect the... Uh, Columbia River. I mean, they didn't want anyone, you know, the the Japanese sneaking into the river and oh, in World War Two. World War Two, or or you know, it, there was a lot of you know, people, we were worried about invasion on the West Coast, and mm -hmm. although it never really occurred, I mean, a couple of times shots were fired at it, but not and not anything to worry about. So they had the big guns. They had a replica cannons. Cannons. Yeah, they had a replica of one, and then they just had the other sites mm -hmm. where they were just you know big holes now. And, uh, that whole area was kind of neat. We spent a day, that day, hanging around that fort, and yeah. then we went to another beach where you could drive on that beach, actually, if you felt like it. there was a shipwreck. Yes. Uh, I don't remember the name of the shipwreck now. Just the very front of the ship was there, so, you know, 15, 20 feet of it, and it's, you know, very rusted out. You'll see a picture of it. Mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was cool. It was worth seeing. Um, the, you know, farther north, there's a huge jetty that probably goes out at least a half a mile um, at the opening of the Columbia River. Yeah, I think that's yeah. to help calm the waves so that uh, you can, the, sh the ships coming in or boats, I mean, fishing boats go out there too. Right. Oh, well, every, you know, it's the beginning, you know, your massive container ships go in there to Portland to get unloaded, you know, there's, there's a, well, I won't get into it huge thing of cars <laughs> you know you'll see it packed full of cars one one week and the next week it's completely empty so they unload a lot of stuff in portland uh -huh, so, right and that's how they get from the pacific into the columbia river right the trains go in there into yeah. portland and they yeah. unload those cargo containers yeah onto the train so but the, yeah there were a couple of batteries there uh, and then you know the obviously port. yeah historia is there and um really nice i really enjoyed spending time at the coast. Yeah, I did too. I would like to go back, maybe go up towards Washington or across the Columbia and go on the north side of the Columbia and see what's going on up that way yeah. next time maybe. Yeah. Bring your drone. That yeah. was really fun. The drone was fun to fly. I'm just learning to uh, get some shots down. And hopefully I'll get better at that. But, uh, so, yeah, there's, I mean, there's so much going south too. And right. Lots of, uh, lots of beaches in Oregon. So, so the question is, would you go back to Seaside and Cannon Beach and that whole area? Oh yeah, definitely. And you'd recommend? Yes. Me too. Yes. I would absolutely go back. I'd love to go back as soon as possible. The minute the weather picks up, I want to go back. Right. That's you know you gotta you do have to keep an eye on the weather. It is Oregon, so uh, we had two beautiful days in October, which uh, I've heard was unusual. Yeah, it was stunning. We 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 bring good weather wherever we go. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Al. Oh, yes. I'm always forgetting to do this. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, let us know what you like, what you don't like. Let us know if there's some place you'd like us to talk about. If we've been there, we'll be happy to talk about it. If not, I'll throw you off to someone else who has been there. <coughs> but, um, but, yeah, that would be great. So, and you can check out my blogs at TravelHunt.com and search for... Sally's podcast, if you prefer, Wanderlust with Sal and Brad, and it's, I, I don't know all those sites, it's widely available, <laughs> so whatever your favorite podcast site is, it'll be there, so thanks. Thanks. <laughs>